Hi everyone, um, thank you for coming back to my channel and uh, being patient with me. It's been a, an interesting 24 hours, um, beginning with the hot water tank uh, leaking out on the floor in the basement yesterday morning. I came home in the afternoon, after late in the evening, to find my little avicularia avicularia that I got from PetSmart. This is the one that was in the Critter Keeper um, at PetSmart, and I, I built that three-gallon half-moon fish tank. Um, it was acrylic. I made it into an arboreal enclosure for this little one, and this one was so happy and just webbed up a house right away on its leaf, on its live plant, and I knew it was in pre-molt, so, you know, I kept... Uh, of course I kept it humid, it had plenty of ventilation. When I came home I saw that its feet were up in the air and I was like okay it's molting and when I opened up the top to check on it I could tell right away that you know something wasn't right and um, it just all of my other slings and this one is a large sling maybe a juvenile just molted like butter. They their molts just slip right off their feet and uh, I've had no problems whatsoever. And this one I got about a month ago and it was already maybe a year old at least. Um, and I was talking to a friend and um, we were talking about what could possibly be the cause of this and he said uh, maybe a weak spider, you know, um, the carapace didn't... Uh, didn't crack like it should. Um, anyway, I was up really late last night um, and I spent three hours um, trying to very, very carefully, surgically remove this little tarantula from its dried up molt. Um, and I was able to get it out. It had two legs that uh, um, dropped off. I really don't think it's it's gonna survive. Um, it it hasn't shown any indication of moving uh, today, and so I'm just really heartbroken over that. Um, that's my first, you know, official death. I feel sad. And I knew this, you know, decision when I when I purchased this one from from pet. PetSmart. I had been in there several times and and I had seen this tarantula uh, for sale. You know, I know that if you purchase something, then it can prompt them to uh, refill their inventory. I'm going to make a pledge right now to not buy any tarantulas from PetSmart ever again. I'm just gonna walk right on by when I go get my dog food and I'm not gonna check on them, see what they have, see what conditions they're in. I just feel like the more purchased tarantulas that are in, you know, sad conditions and not kept properly, the more likely those businesses will be to replace them with more inventory thinking, oh someone bought it, let's get another one. So I'm not gonna do that. And um, I'll insert some footage here. Um, it's very sad, so just be prepared. And uh, in other news, I, I do have a Fear Not unboxing today, so um, I'll get ready for that. Um, and I haven't had much sleep, so, you know, please forgive me. Uh, yeah. Thank you. This doesn't look good. This is the little avicularia avicularia that uh, I got from PetSmart. And it was kept on really dry substrate in a critter keeper. And it's molting and it just didn't look right to me. I mean, this is where it's, it's stuck. I think it's stuck. So I'm going to do what I can to try and help. I don't really know if there's anything I can do, but it's really sad. 
Well, here's my my poor little avicularia, avicularia. It's lost a leg and part of another leg. And uh, I honestly don't think that it's going to make it. The interesting thing that I'll say is that I haven't lost a single tarantula that I have raised from a sling. Every one of them, they've all had really healthy molts. And this one is the PetSmart rescue, if you will. I took this one in after seeing it in a critter keeper and it had really dry substrate. Took it home, it had been eating, then it went into pre-molt. You can see that its little heart is still beating. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, anyway, I feel sad, so... Well, I just wanted to give it a better life than what it was going to, what it was getting. I know that it had been in the pet store for a while. They were excited that I bought it and I did nothing but give it optimal care since I've had it for about a month. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. It's just really a bummer. So I will um, update you, let you know what happens. Uh, thank you for watching.